This is the X Sports Network. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Orange Beach, Alabama for the Gulf Coast Classic Baseball Tournament. Lawrence County Wildcats are going to be facing the Orange Beach Makos on their home field. This field is all synthetic. I thought the dirt this morning was on the pitching mound was natural dirt, but it's synthetic also. So you don't have your regular John Deere equipment out here trying to get the field in condition. You have this little roller they had that was picking up some trash off the field. So it's good to be a ground crewman here. We're supposed to start at 7 o'clock, but the other game went over as this tournament. I really don't know how many teams are in this tournament. I do know this is that we have had five guaranteed teams. We started this morning with an 8-1 to victory over Ada, Oklahoma. And this game was not on the original schedule here at 7 o'clock against Orange Beach, but Coach Clint Wright and the other coach agreed to do a game here tonight. If we get in the top four, we play tomorrow one game and two on Wednesday, and they'll be in different locations. But if we get in the top four, then on Thursday, they'll have a semifinal and a championship game on Thursday, so we could play two extra games. Let me get some stats out here real quick and go over some stuff from this morning's game. It was a good performance by the Wildcats in their first game of the season. As Jack Emerson, a freshman, went one for two with two walks. He was on base three times, scored three runs. Alex Bedford went two for four, had a big hit toward left center field. Truett Kidd had a couple of RBIs, went one for one for three. I beg your pardon, one for four. T.G. Gobble, one for two with a couple of walks. Isaiah Bentley, who was a starting pitcher, he went two for four at the plate. A.J. Daniel, a freshman, came in to pinch hit late in the game, and he, the first pitch he saw, he laced it to center field for a hit, and Cole Schultz went one for three. Isaiah Bentley struck out five. He walked two, and he hit two batters, and I didn't realize it until I was looking at the stats. He hit the same guy twice. And uh, I think he kind of leaned into the last one. But a big performance this morning by Lawrence County. They scored four runs in the top of the first. To... Hang on. Sorry about that. They didn't have the volume up on the national anthem. But the uh, Isaiah Bentley, going back to him, five strikeouts, two walks, and two hits batsmen, but he pitched a complete game with the whole distance of seven innings. So a great start for Isaiah. Let's take a little break right now as the Lawrence County is doing their taking infield right now and getting warmed up for this game against Orange Beach. You're watching X Sports on YouTube and Facebook back in a moment. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or phone 931-762-9799. 
Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. It's never too late to change your career or to go back to school. The decision to go back to school wasn't easy. Look at me, a wife, a mother, a degree in dental for 17 years. But here I am at LTC, studying towards a career in cosmetology, and it's been the best decision I have ever made. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals, owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds, let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there's something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you. Because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi-use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high-quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNV Linen. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. Why should you bank with Employee Resources Credit Union? We offer a wealth of services, including mobile banking, video banking, bill pay, and more. We also offer loan rates that are lower than those of our competitors. Employee Resources Credit Union has been a financial pillar since 1964, providing long-time support to members of the community. Join us and become part of the ERCU commitment, not for profit, for service. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, 
Its mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in auto owners insurance. Auto owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV? Or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock, by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. Are you looking for a job where you can easily balance work and home life? By becoming a local driver with Southeast Carers, we can guarantee multiple benefits and a base pay starting at $17 per hour, along with a work-life balance so you can spend equal time on the road as with family. We also provide the latest updated equipment and technology to make your job as easy as possible. Southeast Carers isn't just a company, it's a family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com Going the distance with local sports This is the X Sports Network Welcome back here to Orange Beach Teams are being announced Lawrence County we didn't do this this morning, I guess, because we're at the home field of Orange Beach. Orange Beach is a 4A school, population student population of 300. They're coached by Josh Hull from Corner, Alabama. And the Mako's, Mako is a type of shark, so that fits them well down here at the beach. We'll have... Emerson will be leading off play in shortstop. That's Jack Emerson. Alex Bedford will be in center field batting second. Truett Kidd will be in right field batting third. T.J. Gobble will bat fourth and play first base. Isaiah Bentley will be – I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I got the wrong lineup from this morning. Emerson, Bedford, Bentley, Gobble, Kidd, and number six will be Daniel. He'll be in left field. And Schultz will be at third base. Durham will be behind the plate, and Glass will be at second base. And the starting pitcher, and not in the batting lineup, but the starting pitcher will be Andrew Kidd, a senior. And now for the starting lineup for your Orange Beach Makos. In left field, number 19, Announcing the Watts. We've got Joel Chandler at shortstop. Ryland Go Gober, center fielder. Cooper Sanders will be at first base. Trip Carter at third. 
Hayden Barber at second. Will Watts in left. Austin Beck with the DH. Caden Ford, the right fielder. Colton Boyd with the catcher. And their pitcher will not be in the batting lineup. He is Zane Rogers. The, it, we were taking infield earlier, and everybody stopped for the national anthem. It turns out it was over to a different field. There's like six or eight fields here with different sports, softball. I think I saw a field hockey team out there when I was driving up. So a beautiful complex down here at Orange Beach. The weather has warmed up. When I got to the complex tonight, it was about 65 degrees. It's dropped down to 60 now. And we'll be in the high 50s when we when we get the first pitch going here. So Lawrence County out to a good start. They won this morning. They beat Ada, Oklahoma. Let's take a quick break while we do our national anthem. When we come back, we'll have the first pitch. You're listening to Wildcat Baseball back in a moment. Hood Company Real Estate is highlighting the beautiful home located at 786 Hillview Drive in Lawrenceburg as this week's property of the week. This spacious four bedroom, four bath brick residence sets on a picture perfect three plus acre lot and features an attached extra large two car garage. This is a solid custom built home with many updates including a new HVAC system and tankless hot water heater plus the price has recently been reduced. For more on this and many other homes check out hoodcompanyhome.com or phone 931-762-5816. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Inc. Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Inc. give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom-designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961, or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Inc. for the look you want and the look you deserve. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Well, you're just moments away from the first pitch of our second game in the Gulf Coast Classic Baseball Tournament. Lawrence County will be taking on Orange Beach, the host team on their host field. Lawrence County will be the visitors. Like they were this morning. Jack Emerson will be leading off. Be facing Zane Rogers. Rogers, a right hander. Some of the guys on the Lawrence County side said they, the coaches had not scouted this kid, he, he was not on the roster. You have to play with what you're dealt with. You got to compete with what they have. Coach Clint Wright in his second season. The Lawrence County Wildcats this season, their depth is going to be their pitching. They can go deep, which we haven't seen that in a while. But 
the bats really jumped out in the first first game in the first inning when we scored four runs. Let's hope we can do that again or, or put some more on the board. We're almost getting ready to go here. Jack Emerson, a freshman of a leadoff. Alex Bedford on deck, followed by Isaiah Bentley. First pitch of the game coming up. He bunts it and goes right back to the pitcher. He fields it, throws on the first in time. One pitch, one out. He's bunting it a little bit too hard back to the pitcher, trying to get it past the pitcher. And using that speed, Jack might have got on. There's a strike. Alex Bedford. And a good game at the plate, two for four earlier. Ball low. And that one missed. Two and one now. Just underway. No score, top of the first. Ground ball to pass the first baseman. Second baseman makes a great scoop and throws, and Bedford falls down, and he's going to be called out at first. That's a great play by that second baseman. That was Hayden Barber coming up with the ball. Tough play for Alex. Isaiah Bentley, who batted fifth this morning, will be up now batting third. Ball in the dirt. Or I should say the synthetic turf. That one just misses two and out. Swung on and missed. Two and one now. Good swing by Isaiah. Just couldn't catch up with it. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Two two pitch coming up. Fouled off. Kind of shorten his swing to get a piece of it. He's fouled in the net. TJ Gobble on deck going to retrieve the ball behind the catcher and umpire. A lot of room back there. Caught looking curveball. And that'll do it for Lawrence County in the top of the first. We head to the bottom of the first. No score. This is the Exports Network. Back in a moment. Truett's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truett's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truett's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family owned and operated business, Truett's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truett's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Efficiency, reliability, accuracy. Move forward with your real estate sale or purchase with title and escrow of Lawrence County, the most experienced closing team around. Working with clients locally and throughout the state, we offer a wide range of services, including the expertise of an on-staff attorney 
backed by our more than 49 years experience in titles and closings. We get the job done on time at a fair price and ensure every last detail is correct. Our goal is to give you peace of mind. When you work with us, you work with people who live where you do. We understand the importance of the real estate community and strive to build strong relationships with all parties involved in the process. Whether you're buying a home, selling a business, acquiring land, or anything in between, you're in good hands with title and escrow of Lawrence County. Put the most experienced closing team on your side. Contact title and escrow of Lawrence County today. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. We head to the bottom of the first. Orange Beach will be coming up. Pitch in there for a strike. Andrew Kidd, senior pitcher for Lawrence County. Right hander. Curveballs. Emerson has it at short. Bobbles it. Throws on the first in time. Was able to keep it in front of him. So ground ball out on Chandler. Gober, the center fielder, will be next. That one misses. Swing on and miss. You got TJ Gobble at first, Gavin Glass at second, Ben Emerson at short, Cole Short Schultz, excuse me, at third, AJ Daniel out left. Alex Bedford in center and Truett Kidd in right field. Here's the pitch from Andrew Kidd. Fly ball towards center field. It's going to go back. Bedford back on it, and he's got it. Nice run down by Alex Bedford. He made a good catch earlier in this game this morning. Brooks Durham is catching Andrew Kidd. Sanders, the batter for Orange Beach. And it hit him. And it hit the umpire, too. So a hit batsman. Puts a runner at first. Brooks Durham making sure the umpire is okay. The umpire gives him two thumbs up and we're ready to go. Two out, runner at first. Well, outside. This is Trip Carter, the third baseman. Ball low. Hey, be solid back there, Brooks. Let's go. Change up hit toward right field. Second base would going out, and it's going to land in fair ball. And they get the ball in quickly. Just nothing you could do with that. It was in where no Wildcat was near it. So now they got runners at second and third with two out. Got the first two men out. That'll bring up Hayden Barber, the second baseman, who made a great play in the top of the first. Time called. 
Brooks Durham wants to have a word with his pitcher, Andrew Kidd. Now they're on the same page. Two out, runners at second and third. Just got to get this barber out here. Here's the pitch. Now just lace down the right field line. Is it going to stay fair? And it does. Back-to-back -back hits down the right field line where you couldn't go out there and place it any better than that. So a double will score two runs, and Orange Beak will take a two-to-nothing lead. How much you can do about that? Back to back hits right down the right field line where nobody was. The first one was a kind of a pop up, but Glass and Kid couldn't get to it. And that was, was laced down the right field line and it stayed fair. Here's Watts for Orange Beach. Right back up the middle and stopped by Glass. Backhanded, throws the first in time. Nice play. Gavin Glass with a nice stop. But Orange Beach scores two in the bottom of the first. We're headed to the top of the second. Two to nothing, Orange Beach. Back in a moment. Southern Tennessee Orthopedics welcomes orthopedic surgeon Dr. Paul Thomas. Count on Dr. Paul Thomas, podiatrist Dr. James Markstill, and nurse practitioner Doug Eid at Southern Tennessee Orthopedics to keep your life in motion. Injuries and foot pain can rob you of the activities you enjoy most. So our team is here, close to home, to address the pain and to get you moving again. Southern Tennessee Orthopedics, from the routine to the unforeseen, you can count on us. To learn more, visit southerntennesseemedicalgroup.com or to schedule an appointment, call 931-762-4400. Story and Lee, the Tennessee Valley's most dynamic furniture store, featuring our Made in America galleries with solid wood dining and bedrooms, leather furniture, mattresses, and so much more. You want it? We've got it. With our three acres of showroom and our huge warehouse, we're sure to have exactly what you want. And it's all ready to be delivered to your home absolutely free. Just try that anywhere else. We are Story and Lee. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. We go to the top of the second inning. TJ Gobble, the number four hitter for the Wildcats, will be leading off. First one in there for a strike. Hey, make it catch it. True kid on deck. And then AJ Daniel will follow him. Strike right, called. So 0 and 2 quickly on TJ. It's fouled away. Here's the pitch. Just misses outside. One and two. Make him try to chase one on the 2 count. Ball low. Two, two count now. Ball high, good eye there. He's worked him to a full count at three and two after starting out 0 and two. The Rogers has got to come to him here. Strike three, caught looking. Kid. Yeah. 
Truett had a big hit in the first game, went one for four. Drove in a couple of runs. Got the Wildcats started this morning. All in the dirt. A.J. Daniel on deck. Is two and one now. Time called. A lot of the parents made the trip down here. Even some grandparents made the trip down here. Strike called. Evens it up at two and two now. Off speed pitch misses low. So a full count again. We're working him. So we're going to miss strike three. Oh, he's got three Ks in a row here. We're going to change that stat up. A.J. Daniel liked the first pitch he saw this morning as a varsity Wildcat, and he laced it to center field. Good hard swing by A.J. Daniel. They told me he'd, he's never seen a pitch he didn't like to hit, to swing at it at least. Ground ball towards second, up with it, throws over to first in time. That'll do it for the Wildcats in the second. We head to the bottom of the second. We trail Orange Beach two to zero back in a moment. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. This is the X Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the second inning, two to nothing, Orange Beach up over our Lawrence County Wildcats. Beck will be up. Hey, make a play, big infield. We scored two runs in the top of the, excuse me, the bottom of the first after two outs. Orange Beach did. Curveball. And nice catch by Jack Emerson going up the ladder to catch that one. He robbed him of a hit.
Ground ball towards short. Emerson has another chance. Big hop. Throw to first. A little high, but Gobble was able to bring it in. So two out now quickly. Boy to be the batter. He's the catcher, batting ninth. For the Makos of Orange Beach. The Gulf Shores High School is the Dolphins. Right down the road here. If you're familiar with this area, Orange Beach Sports Complex is across the street from the wharf. Well, they have the amphitheater and the big Ferris wheel. And you come across the pay bridge, which, by the way, is now $5 a trip. Here's the pitch. It's going to be ground foul. Coach Hoyle makes a good play over there at third base. And we miss low. Two and one count, two out. Andrew Kitt on the mound for the Wildcats. I'd like to get this guy right here, the number nine hitter. Get the third out. Oh, you don't flip that lineup. That one's low. And then he lost him. So he goes down to first. And that'll bring up the top of the lineup and Chandler who grounded it out to short first time up. Ground ball towards second. Glass up with it, throws over to first, and he's out. And so are the Orange Beach in the bottom of the second. They fill the score. We go to the top of the third. Orange Beach leads 2-0 to zero over Lawrence County back in a moment. Don't just find a job. Find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career today. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. Tennessee Flight Training, the skies are calling. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's A&B Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Coach Schultz fouls the first pitch he sees off. Start at the top of the third here. That's low. Got the seven, eight, and nine hitters looking for the first hit of the ball game, Lawrence County is. There's a shot. Shortstop backs it down, but I don't think he's going to get him. Nope. And the throw is going to go over his head. And he's going to come back to first base. We're going to give him a hit. That was a hard, hard hit to shortstop. So Cole Schultz, Schultz will be on first base. 
And Brooks Durham will be the batter. And the ground ball towards second. The runner was going. Only play he's got to first. So he advances the runner up to second base in scoring position. Good hitting by Durham there. Went to the other side. And Gavin Glass will be the batter, the second baseman. Runner at second, one out here. The, they throw back, and it goes into center field, but center fielder was there to back it up. Second. Here's the pitch. Ball low. They're going to throw down the second. It's, that's going to go into center field. Now he's going to take off. Here's a throw coming in. And he's going to be safe. Good heads up running by Schultz. Got him around to third. And Gavin Glass got a chance to knock one in here. Get a run on the board. We trail two to zero right now. Jack Emerson on deck, the leadoff hitter for Lawrence County. That one's inside. We'll take a base runner any way we can get him. Time call. Now, Clint Wright wants to go talk to his batter while they have a meeting on the mound of the infield and the head coach. I have to tell you a story about the softball team here. Orange Beach softball was started in 2019. Of course, they didn't have a season in 20. They had one in 21 and 22 and 23. But of the four years that they had a program, they won the first year the state championship in 19 and then again in 22 and 23. So they've won three out of four years of being playing competitive softball. And the girls, uh, I, believe, I believe one year was 3A and the other years have been 4A. You got programs that have been playing 50 plus years and never won a state title. Two O count, one out, runner at third. Here's the wind and the pitch. Ball low. One four four. One four four. 3 0 now. Good job, kid. Let's go. Hands outside. He walks him. He had to take all the way. That'll bring up Jack Emerson. Freshman shortstop for Lawrence County. Now they're going to make some defensive signals as the catcher comes out from his position. Coach Clint Wright barking out some numbers, um, some signals rather. Three, four, three. Hey, no 31. No 31. Oh, the first. Trying to keep him close. Three, four, three. The last good take off here. Trying to draw a throw from the catcher. And then Schultz may break from third. <clears throat> This is ball one. Four, one, two. Four, one, two. No one's outside. Roger's struggling here for Orange Beach. Alex Bedford just itching to get up there right now. He's on deck. Go, 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 
And we got a ball loose. We got somebody warming up in the bullpen down the right field line. Two O count. Strike called. Foul tipped into the net. Two two count now. Runners at first and third. They get their lead. Two two pitch on its way. Ground ball toward first. He fields it, steps on the bag, throws to second, and they got him. So one six double play ends the threat for Lawrence County here in the top of the third. We head to the bottom of the third. Orange Beach still leads two to zero over Lawrence County back in a moment. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive, your Chevy GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. I attended Cumberland University. After Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle pricing on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Orange Beach will send their two, three, four hitters up. To face Andrew Kidd. First pitch from Kidd. Fly ball toward left field. Daniel misjudged it and it goes over his head. There's Bedford with it. Throw to second. They got to play, but they can't make it on him. He just overran it. Tough play for AJ out there, freshman. Runner at second, nobody out. Here's the pitch. Sanders got hit by a pitch first time up. Swung on and missed. Andrew Kid took a little bit of something off of that one. low. One and two now. Still out in front of him. Runner at second. Ground ball toward third. He's up with it. Looks to runner back at second. Throw to first. Off the mark. And they got him. 
Good play by T.J. Gobble to get that errant throw and put the tag on the man at first. Schultz looked him back. And then threw it a little bit wide, but it was bailed out by T.J. Gobble. So one out now, and Carter will be the batter. Bodies. One's fouled off down the left field line. Hey, big infield, diving bodies. Runner going. Throw down the th no no throw. Ball was in the dirt. Hard for Durham to handle that one. Hey, corners, corners. Hey, middle half, middle half. They're looking to come up on the infield, play on the grass at the corners. Play halfway at second and short. That one's foul. Coach Wright couldn't handle it. Hey, hey, Brooks. One, two count. Yeah, One's in the dirt. Guys, stop by Durham. I thought he might have check swung. That's why Durham put the tag on him in the third strike. It's two and two now. That one just misses. Runs it full, three and two. Ball low, he walks in. So runners will be at first and third. Time called as Clint Wright's gonna go out and have a chat with Andrew Kidd. No, he's gonna make a pitching change. We'll take it with him. Two to nothing, Orange Beach leads back in a moment. stuck then you're in luck call tower mcdowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day seven days a week for quick reliable service when you find yourself in a bind in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts jump starts and emergency roadside assistance family owned family operated when you need a hand call in-service towing or ask for them by name serving southern tennessee and north alabama Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit inservicespecialties.com. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary care by One Stop Medical at its best. Hi, my name is Asha. I go to Lawrenceburg Technical College and I moved here a year ago from California. I wanted to be a cosmetologist and study hair, nails, and makeup. You should come join us at Lawrenceburg Technical College and learn all about cosmetology. 
There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available in the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. We've got a pitching change for Lawrence County. Cason Smith's going to come in relief for Andrew Kidd. He comes in with runners at first and third, one out. I believe this is Barber coming up. You get the high pop-up that A.J. Daniel overran. Wound up with two base hit. It's going to bunt. Ball gets away, and that's going to score a run. Durham couldn't find it. What happened? Hey. What happened? Huh? And he thought br- Durham thought he tipped it, but it hit the umpire on the shoulder. Three to nothing now, Orange Beach, on that run on a wild pitch pass ball. I'm not sure what which you want to call it. It's foul tipped. One and one now. Runner in scoring position for Orange Beach down at second. Nice block there by Durham. Keeps the runner at second. And it's fouled off to the Lawrence County dugout. <laughs> Clint Wright, 0 for 2 so far in his ground balls. Outside. Just outside. So a walk. As runners at first and third again with one out. I'll check that first and second. So what? Cason Smith on the mound, working from the stretch. One's low. Looks back to second. Now fires to the plate. Just outside, he's barely missing. Throw down the third. He's going to be out. Nice play. Brooks Durham throwing them out. So two out now. Two out runner at first. Nice play by Brooks Durham behind the plate. 
Just misses outside. So the third walk of the inning puts runners at first and second. Well, that's a big play by Durham to get that runner out at third. It could have been bases loaded right here. And Bell could be the batter. He lined up to the shortstop where Jack Emerson went up the ladder to catch it. Ground ball towards short. Emerson up with it, going to short way to second for the force out, and that'll do it. We head to the top of the fourth. Orange Beach 3, Lawrence County 0, back in a moment. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. Renright Equipment has all the tools you need to get the job done. From bobcats to trenchers to augers to lifts, we have a large variety of equipment for every project, big or small. Need a new mower? We have you covered there too. With great brands Hustler and Big Dog, Renright is ready to serve all your equipment needs. Call today and reserve your equipment from Renright Equipment in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Orange County Trails three to nothing here at Orange Beach. We got the meat of our lineup coming up. The two, three, four hitters: Alex Bedford, Isaiah Bentley, followed by T.J. Gobble. First pitch in there for a strike. Oh, one pitch coming in the dirt. Ground ball toward first. He fields it. He's got a hustle, and Bedford got him by two steps. Good hustle by Alex Bedford getting down the first base line. But first baseman got to the bag first. So one out. Isaiah Bentley caught looking for his first time up. He's ready for some revenge here. Outside, ball one. Big swing right there by Isaiah. Miss, couldn't catch up with it. Strike two as he swung and missed that one. One two count. Ball low. Two two pitch coming up. That one's back to the mound. Fields it, throws the first in time. And that'll bring up Gobble, TJ Gobble. Let's 
go 14. Drew it kid on deck. Ball low. Has been beat up back there tonight. So, two old count on TJ Gobble. Bases empty, two out. Top of the fourth here. Called strike. Hands low. Three one count. Hitters count. Here's the pitch. There's a shot toward left field, and it's going to get down. Looked like he might have trapped it, but he couldn't come up with it cleanly, so we've got our. Base runner on at first base here in the top of the fourth inning in T.J. Gobble. Time called by Orange Beach. Let's see if they make a pitching change here. I'm going to talk to everybody from the infield and his pitcher and his catcher, of course. We'll be back on the air tomorrow at 4.30. We'll be down in Gulf Shores. Just a few miles down the road. And I think they are going to make a change. We'll take it with them. Three to nothing, Orange Beach leads here in the top of the fourth. Back in a moment. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality. Shop convenience. Shop service. Shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. Got a new pitcher for Orange Beach. And Truett Kid will lead off. Get a name for him here in just a moment. In there for a strike. Hey, now you see one. Let's go. Let's 
Throw over the first. Ooh, that was close. He stumbled a little bit, TJ did. Ball high. Gobble getting a good lead over there at first. Grand ball back to the mound. No, it's past him into third base. He can't, he throws it away. Here comes a run around second. He's going to third. And they get the ball back into the plate. Let's go, AJ. So gobble at third. Let's go, AJ. Get him in. And Truett Kid at first. A little dribbler. I thought the pitcher might have a chance to get it, but it went past him, and third baseman threw it wide for an error. So two runners on, two out. We had a two-out rally in the first game in the top of the seventh this morning. And A.J. Daniel, the freshman up there. Free swinger. First pitch out of play. Hope that was a tin roof and not a tin roof of a car. Runners at first and third. Lawrence County threatening here with two out on top of the fourth. Let's go, four. Let's go, AJ. Gobble getting his lead at third. Here's the pitch. Big swing. Missed it. You good, AJ. Stay in there. C3. O2 count. Let's see if the pitcher comes out of here. He tries to make a swing away. Ground ball toward third. He's up with it. Long throw to first, just in time. We strand two. We go to the bottom of the four. Still trail Orange Beach, three to nothing. This is Wildcat Baseball on the Exports Network. Back in a moment. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through all of life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life, accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize plans for every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating. Specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at number three Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Casey Smith still out there in relief work. We look at the eight, nine, and leadoff hitters for Orange Beach. The Makos. You see a Mako out in the beach, you want to get out of the water. You got sharp teeth. Ball in the dirt. There's a line drive, going to drop in for a base hit. Daniel coming over to field at the foul line. Let's see if he's got to play second, and it's not going to be close. So a leadoff double for Orange Beach here in the bottom of the fourth by their number eight hitter. And 
Boyd will be the batter. Ball gets away. Durham's got to go all the way back to the backstop. So a wild pitch gets the runner down at third. Nobody out. 1-0 count. You're on Boyd. You walked his last time up. Two-o pitch coming up. Check swing to center field. Bedford's got it. Runners tagging. Here's the throw to the plate, and it's not going to be in time. Now they're saying he may left early. They said they said he did not leave early. Right, upset. He's a former umpire. Ball high. So it's four to nothing now. It's a sacrifice fly. Leadoff hitter Chandler up, grounded out twice. Three one count now. And ball four. So they get a man on it first for Orange Beach with one out. Scoreboard has zero outs. That was a fly out. There's a shot past the shortstop, Emerson. That gets into the left field. So two runners on now, first and second. Sanders up in there for a strike. Ball low. Going and it's going to be safe. 
Tough play by Durham behind the plate. Tough pitch to handle there. Swung on and miss. Strike three. Two out now. Scoreboard still has one out, but it's two outs. Got a fly out and a strikeout. Speed pitch misses. Runs at second and third. Bottom of the fourth. Orange Beach leads four to zero right now. Throw it first. Excuse me, third. You rarely see a throw to third. Just missed. That one misses low. 3 0 count now. Got to come to him. Got runner. Got the first base open. So if he walks, it's not going to be too bad. Foul tipped on a 3 0 pitch. He had the green light. Fly ball toward right field. Kid over there, and he grabs it for the third out. That'll do it. They score one. Orange Beach four. Wildcats of Lawrence County zero. We hit at the top of the fifth. You're watching and listening to Exports Network. Back in a moment. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery for furniture, appliances, and more. And shop quality. Shop convenience. Shop service. Shop local. A family-owned business with a long history of serving the region. We're a one-stop home furnishings destination. We feature brands you know, competitively priced, backed by professional installation and service. You can trust that we'll take good care of you before and after the sale. For your home, shop smart. Shop McMaster's Home Gallery today. At Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, we're proud to be locally owned and operated because we're not just a bank, we're family. When you call, you'll be greeted by a friendly representative who's ready to discuss your banking needs, as well as offer our competitive rates on CDs and money market accounts. Our loan decisions are made in-house and never sold to a secondary market because our commitment is simple. You matter to us. At Lawrenceburg Federal, we offer all the conveniences of larger banks with a personal touch. Join us at Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, where community, trust, and service come together. We go to the top of the fifth inning. Lawrence County trailing here. Four to nothing to Orange Beach at Orange Beach, Alabama. Schultz, the first batter, takes one for a ball. Got a single last time up. There's a ground ball to third. He bobs off his glove and Schultz will be safe at first. Oh, he's two for two. We're in number 22. So a leadoff hit. Let's get something going here.
Colton Tucker's pinch hitting. And they call him safe over at first. It was bang, bang over there. Schultz has got to watch that move. Colton Tucker batting for Durham. Swung on a miss, strike one. Runner at first, leadoff single by Schultz. Throw back, and they got him. Caught him leaning a little bit. So that'll clear the bases. Outside. Well, low. Two one count, one out. Strike called. Two two pitch coming up in the dirt. Runs it full, three and two. Missed for the curveball. That one misses. Ball four. Gavin Glass will be the batter now for Lawrence County with the runner at first. And Colton Tucker got a little speed over there. Now he's going to get some, another player in. Caden Short will be running. I think, yep. Early part of the season, you want to get as many people as you can in the game. Try to give them some experience. Popped up out of play. Throws over to first, back in time. That was popped up, third, first baseman looking for it. Nobody can find it. It was behind the plate and the catcher couldn't find it and the pitcher ran in. We couldn't make the play, so Gavin Glass stays alive at 0-2. Runner at first. 
O2 count. Throw over to first. And it goes into right field. He's taking off. Here comes the throw, and he's going to be safe. Short popped up at first base when he realized the throw was in right field. Coach Clint Gobble, the first base coach, said, get up and run, my man, run. So he's down at second base with one out. Got one in scoring position now. One, two, count on glass. Let's see if he can hit one opposite field in that 3-4. Ball high. Runs it even now, two and two. Third strike called. Two out now. Jack Emerson. Emerson can keep it going. Alex Bedford's on deck. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Trying to catch up with that breaking ball. Over, trying to get behind him a little bit at second base. Shortstop was covering that time. Oh, one count on the batter, Jack Emerson. Curveball drops in there, strike. Tough luck, Ward. Tough luck. O2 pitch coming, timeout. It was called at the plate, I believe, by Jack. Now they're ready. One's outside. Top of the fifth inning here, Orange County. Got a runner in scoring position, trying to crack the scoreboard. We haven't got a run across yet. Foul tipped. He stays alive. And one and two. Popped up, second baseman calling for it, and he puts it away. We leave a runner on, fail to score in this fifth inning. We go to the bottom of the fifth, Orange Beach four, Lawrence County zero. This is the Exports Network back in a moment. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. 
Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. This is the X Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Orange Beach leads four to nothing. Logan Clayton in the lineup in the pitching change. Number 12. It's always good when you have a roster with numbers. But it's even better when you got mamas to tell you who's out there. Lawrence County has had some opportunities. They've left about five runners on the base. A base pass. I give credit to Orange Beach pitching right now. Got to keep them right where they are so we can get those bats going. Barbara will be the batter for Orange Beach. Ball high. That one's high. Foul into the net. Two one count. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Just got to get him down a little bit. Adjust for it. Adjust for it. That one's low. So a leadoff walk to Barber starts Orange Beach fifth inning. Logan Clayton, one of the many arms that the Wildcats have. He's a sophomore. And Watts will be the batter. Grounded out and walked. Runner going. It was a strike. I think he foul tipped it. But he got a good jump right there. Durham, make it a good strong throw down to second. Time call. We'll be back on the air tomorrow at 4.30 from Sims Park and Gus Shores. And we'll have two games Wednesday at 9 and 11.30. Ball low. Outside, we play St. Michael Catholic tomorrow, a local school from Fairhope. Private school. There's a shot toward left field. It's going to get down for a base hit. The runner's going to round third. They're waving him in. 
Ball gets away. It goes all the way to the wall. Or is it second? And he's going to be held up there at third base now as he makes his way around. So five to nothing now, Orange Beach. Beck will be the batter. So a two base error on our left fielder as a runner at third now. pitch coming up. Ground ball towards short. Emerson up with it. Goes over to first in time. Runner scores. Makes it six to nothing now, Orange Beach. So one out. Bases are empty. And four to be the batter. It's Logan Clayton, Wildcat pitcher. Ground ball. Emerson backhands it, makes the stop, but can't pop up and throw it. Probably good he put that ball in his pocket. So the base hit in the hole, but Jack Emerson was a lot of range for a freshman out there. Made a good play on the ball. So runner at first with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Strike called. Outside. One and one, one out. Runner at first. Logan Clayton working for the stretch. Popped up. T.J. Gobble may have a play at the fence and just out of his reach on the other side. Well, Ford stays alive as a hitter. Wednesday morning we play at 9 o'clock against Baldwin, Mississippi, and then at 11.30 against New Hope. New Hope is in Alabama, over in the Huntsville area. <laughs> Met some of those folks this morning. Off-speed pitch misses. Full count, three and two now. Runner going. Fly ball towards center field. Bedford under it. He's got it. Well, the runner's got to go back to first. Big long out there. So two out. I'm going to bring up the number nine hitter, Boyd.
Clint Wright's going to go out and talk to his pitcher right now. Six to nothing, Orange Beach with a lead over Lawrence County. Hope everybody got to enjoy the extra hour of daylight this afternoon after changing our clocks yesterday. Ready for some action here. Throw over to first. Clayton working for the stretch. Those are the plate. Strike call. Good pitch. Cold night out there for the pitchers to get a grip on that baseball. Outside. Breaking ball misses low. Two and one now. And high. Popped up out of play. Runs the count full now, three and two with two out. Runner will probably be moving here. Fly ball toward right field. It's going to drop down in front of Kidd. The runner going to round second, go to third. Now they're going to wave from home. Kidd still has it, throws in, misses the cutoff man, and they score another run. So seven to nothing now, Orange Beach. It was a 3 2 count. The runner was going from first with two out. And he came around second and scored as he was held up at third momentarily. We're going to have another pitching change. We'll take it with him. Seven to nothing. Orange Beach lead. Back in a moment. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of The Summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come and tour our facility. We would love to see you here. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Welcome to Employee Resources Credit Union, where you're more than just a number, you're family. We provide financial solutions that rise above those of traditional banks. With roots stretching back to 1964, we've served four generations during constant industry changes. 
we're known for our low fees and incredible rates. Join us and experience the credit union difference. BRCU, not for profit, for service. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PL company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you as an employee a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at livingstonefs.com or give us a call at 931 2 3255. Jack Story will be the new pitcher for the Wildcats here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Orange Beach leads seven to nothing. Two out. And he gets to face the top of the order, I believe. Jack Story, a freshman. Messed up high. Ground ball to first. Gobbles gets it and steps on the bag for the third out. Nice play by TJ. Backhanding the ball and just stepping on the bag. They get a couple of more runs. They lead seven to nothing now. We can hit to the top of the six. Orange Beach up over Lawrence County. This is the Exports Network. Back in a moment. Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. What really matters during the ball game? We're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. We head to the top of the sixth inning. Lawrence County's looking to score some runs here. They trail seven to nothing. They got six outs to do it. Alex Bedford, the first batter. Two-one count now. Bentley on deck. Fly ball, Scott into center field. He's under it and he's got it. It's Gober out there. So one out, high pop up from Alex Bedford. Good swing there. TJ Gobble on deck. Ground ball, slow roller to short. He's up with it. Fires to first. And just got him by a step. As they made it closer than maybe should have been. 
So two out now, and T.J. Gobble the batter. See if we can get a two-out rally going like we did this morning. All in the dirt. Two-old pitch coming up. It's popped up out of play. Breaking ball misses. Runs at the three and one now, so he's got to come to him here. Ball low, ball four. Truett Kidd will be the batter. Let's go, Truett! Misses. There's a shot back up the middle. Second base, we can't field it, and everybody's going to be safe at first and second. Caden Short will be the batter now. Where is that first and second get their lead? Here's the pitch. Popped up in the infield. It's going to catch her. Walks it and he misses it. He touched it. He touched it. Oh, he said he didn't touch it. What an odd play. He didn't touch it. He missed it. Didn't touch it and it rolled back foul. So that'll give a 0-1 count on short. Strike called. Swung on and missed, strike three. We leave two runners on, and they're top of the six. We hit at the bottom of the six, trailing 7-0 to zero to Orange Beach here at Orange Beach, Alabama in the Gulf Coast Classic. Back in a moment. Hey, everyone. This is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month, and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. Arctic Air keeps your home or business comfortable. 
For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Jack Story's still on the mound for the Wildcats. The fourth pitcher they've used tonight. We've had a lot of players in the game here. Sanders will be up for Orange Beach. In there for a strike. Off speed pitch. Breaking ball misses. One and one count. That was low. Breaking ball misses in the dirt. 3-1 count now. Foul tipped at the plate. There's a shot toward right field, and it's going to get down. So they got their leadoff hitter on. Gonna have a pinch runner at first. Hey, grab ball here. Let's go. Yeah. One side. Runner at first, nobody out. We're in the bottom of the seventh inning here. Excuse me, bottom of the sixth inning with a score of seven to zero. Ball gets away from Gobble, but he's, nobody's gonna attempt to run. Just misses. Working from the stretch. He winds and he fires. That one's low. 3 0 now. That one's low. Four pitch walk. The runners will be at first and second now. 
Durham going to go out and talk to his freshman pitcher. Barber will come up. Need a ground ball double play or even a triple play would be nice. Ground ball, shortstop, and he mishandles it, and everybody's going to be safe. Throw to first, not in time. And Jack Emerson will tell you, he should have made that play. But instead, the bases will be loaded. Now, Clint Wright's going to come out and talk to Jack Story. I don't think he's going to make a change. So the base will be loaded. Nobody out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Lawrence County Trail 7-0. Yep, they are going to make a change. We'll take one with him. Take a little break here. Seven to nothing, Orange Beach leads. Back in a moment. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 416 Buffalo Road here in Lawrenceburg. is committed to our customers from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly helpful customer service LUS is there at LUS we're always challenging everything we know every day we strive to improve efficiency and reliability while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community it's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Freshman Case Chapman will be the new pitcher for Wildcats, a fifth pitcher used in this game by Coach Clint Wright. Ball low. He's in a tough spot here. Bases loaded and nobody out. They're pulling the infield in on the grass. Trying to keep the run from scoring from third. Said he hit his arm. So a hit batsman will get another run in. It'll be eight to nothing now.
Nick will be up. This is still loaded with nobody out. Chapman winds and fires. Ball outside. That's a strike. Ball low. That's a strike called. Two and two now. This is outside, three and two. Nowhere to put him. Bases are loaded. Got to come to him right here. Foul tipped, and he stays alive. Ball low, I'll score a run. One more, and we'll have the 10 run rule in effect. Freshman to freshman, Jack Emerson comes in and gives words of encouragement to his pitcher. Case Chapman. Just outside. Where's that pitch at? 17, let's go. Where's that pitch at? That's low. Nice stop by Durham behind the plate. 2 0 count. This is three and oh. Strike called. Same exact pitch. The same pitch. Three one count. Ball four, and that'll do it. That'll be the 10th run, and this game will be over. And Orange Beach will have won 10 to nothing over Lawrence County. We used five pitchers in the ball game, used numerous pinch hitters and courtesy runners, but it wasn't enough as we get beat by Orange Beach on their home field here in Orange Beach, Alabama. For Kevin Wright, I'm Stanley Wilson saying good night, and remember to join us tomorrow at 430 when we'll be down in Gulf Shores to play St. Michael Catholic. Good night, everybody. Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network.